You don't want to buy me another are we, bottle. Are we red on share. that? I'm we're, not gonna... we're red on that. Remember your mic discipline, guys? Two to six, two inches, to six, six inches. inches. So my penis size. Hi there, poppers. It's your puppy dog. Inches? Who's this beautiful dog right six here? Six inches right Come here. Come here. Come here, this beautiful dog <laughs> right here. It's this like a it, millimeter dog. Peter. It's like yeah, a big clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> this is name pending. This is name pending. I'm Keeper. I'm Mike Culberson, and we got Kelt with Bo. and a clown Bobo, and, and of course the furry uh, potato, the other furry furry pets Look around here. Bo -bo -bo -bo. We got Pearl, Tabuscus, October, and Cabo uh, is I think digging. I think he's digging. It's all dirt over um, there. That's fine. I don't normally wear my sunglasses at night, so I can, so I can see. I mean, <laughs> I personally put mine inside, and then I put so you put yours on. I was like, mm. um, I, I saw him put his on, and I was like, that ain't a half bad idea. <laughs> Without was, light, bright the uh, lights are. Yeah, they already always gotta... fucking blind us. The problem is, is that I like the optics of actually seeing someone's eyes. Well, and we, not... we're not playing poker. Yeah, and you oh, don't this want is the perfect. I can see you through the slit <laughs> of my finger. Yeah. All right, guys. So today on the podcast, we're talking. About... <laughs> you also don't want, you know, all the production lights like glaring off the lens of your glasses. That's true, I and mean, that's probably not a great optic either. Yeah, but uh, who was it who does lens flare? Uh, there's several companies. No, no, flare. the the com the director who every movie he directs is oh, just nothing yeah, but lens flare. Oh yeah, he loves the. Uh, what are you doing, Toby? October. I'm just going around. Don't get mad at me. No one loves you. Where's Bo? He he went back. He's over there. There's okay. the potato. I just don't want the furry potato to chew on wires. <laughs> he is a furry potato. He is a furry potato. And we do have extra wires. But we're getting off track already. I mean, we still got to do book talk. Oh, wait. Which one did you want to talk about? I want to talk, talk about the TikTok. Marine one. Oh, the Marine. No, it's book talk first. Then okay, we, book talk. Then we get into those racy into topics. Into the TikTok. Okay. Book talk Those TikTok. conscientious topics. Conscientious. Yeah, that's definitely a big one. Don't yeah. forget to put your cell phones on vibrate or your your vibrator on cell phone mode. <laughs> <laughs> your, your cell phones on vibrator mode. <laughs> Toby, you know it. Real you know, don't public, you, Toby? <laughs> you know, Toby, you know. <gasps> All right. Ew. So I have been reading uh, amongst a number of other books, obviously, uh, we went through the list whenever I was. Yeah, we went through an entourage of. Books. Um, in Fury Born, Gesundheit. Fury series book one. Uh, by David Weber. You've only read one book. No, this of is this series. I got this yesterday, and you finished it already. It's a thousand pages, over a thousand pages. So no, you haven't. Finished. I haven't finished it yet. I'm only oh, okay. six hundred and forty pages in. Only I got it yesterday. Physical copy or audiobook? Physical. Physical. Physically digital, right? F physically digital, like Kindle or something. Or... Yeah, Kindle. Yeah. Eventually I'll get bookcases or well, eventually I'll have a library. <sighs> <laughs> you then... you say bookcases and I have all these thoughts of projects we could do in your house to make nope. like pull down bookcases. We're and... going to have bookcases in my in my bedroom. Oh my god, I would love no, to pull, down, pull down bookcases. Also, we need to build Cases for all my cows. Cows? Cows. My art cows? Oh, your art cows. I'm over your thing is like. Are they like little cow cows. statues or is it No, like... no, no. The, this was. So bookcases for your books and your cows. Yeah. No, these are these are little uh, Art Deco cows. There was like this thing where uh, I can't. I'm, I'm not going to talk about it right now because I can't really remember the details anymore. Essentially, it's like any artistry. It came out, a bunch of people started doing this. Someone made it yeah, really they, popular. Yeah, and... They, and it was like they were all sold at Hallmark, right? Like Hallmark pushed, oh, okay. pushed these Back cows. Back when Sierra Roebuck was and my dad dying, like collected a shit ton of them. And then he got tired of the collection. And I said, I want the collection. So he gave it to me. Because if you can't tell, he's in his uh, cowboy face. Hey. Technically, I've never left it. <laughs> That's kind of like the angel, the angel thing that Hallmark used to push. You, you sound like you sound like Rob. So they're going, <laughs> hey, oh, that oh. was the call out. <laughs> you, you fucking, you, you were your cowboy hat stage there for a while. Ever, ever was like, since you told me that, I was every like, time I see you do something cowboyish, she's like, oh, you're in that cowboy yeah, stage. Look, I mean, I, I don't know when I stopped my cowboy hat stage. <laughs> but, never ends. Hey, do you still have that spur? 
I do still have Wolf's Spur, yes. Because his dad and stepdad told me to keep it with his other stuff. Of I, I didn't mention names for a reason. No, I'm just saying that person will never get it because okay. it wasn't gifted. Well, so. I won't have to cut this section out at all. No, you can keep it. Fuck yeah, em. you can keep it. We didn't, um, we're not mentioning names at all. So, In Fury Born, Fury Series, Book 1, by David Weber. 600 pages in. 600 pages in. In a day. Uh, 600 pages? That's half a Bible. It's 1,000 pages. What? Um. So, it starts out, and you're following... It starts from this kid's childhood, right? You're following this character, and she is... Main character? Is main character. Okay. Uh, I forgot her name already. Well, the only reason I asked main character, because I know you read books where there's... Multiple characters. Multiple characters. Yeah, no. Okay. One main character. Okay, so we start this journey as the kid's childhood yeah, and, going up. And she is just a genius, right? Like, she graduates from high school at 14. She graduates from college at 17. She joins the Marines because her fa- grandfather was a Marine. Officer? Enlisted? Enlisted. Okay. So she knows her stuff and would rather work than be a paper pusher. Until she gets pushed. Right? Because if you're a really good... But then she actually has made somewhat of a name yeah. for herself. So it's a little bit different than and so, a like, ring knocker. Everywhere she goes, she's proving herself like capable. Like she, And this is... This is far into the future, right? Like, this is, you know, space, space exploration. You know, the Marines are part of an empire. It's space, you know, they've got colonies. They've got aliens that they fought with in the past and all this jazz, right? Um, But, like, she joins the Marines, which, okay, this is already hard. Then she joins recon Marines, which, okay, we're escalating this. And yeah, we're increasing goes, difficulty across the board. Like, and- she makes staff sergeant by 19. Fuck, that's two years. And for those are better math. And she's really <laughs> fucking just killing it, right? Um, and then she goes into how long does it normally take to make staff? Five, seven years? Yeah. Wow. Damn. Uh, roughly five yeah, to seven years. Typically. That's crazy. You gotta be hot to trot otherwise. That's like three times the speed. It's like making petty officer first class. Yeah. And then then she five gets seven years. She gets recruited by the Emperor's, like, own special forces, which are called the Cadre. Um, And they're, like, the epitome of special forces, even among special forces. They're the the gold star, the spooky spooks, the top of the top. Okay. Uh, Cream of the crop with the cherry on top. And so, you know, and this is where, like, people typically at her level get recruited. So you're no longer like special. You're no longer like blowing everyone, all your peers yeah. out of the water. But even here, she's, she's exceptional. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's very fascinating. Both intellectually, because physically. The, these she goes through these huge arcs. Like the first arc is her her first deployment as a Marine. Um and how it all goes sideways because politicians screw up and there's uh it's this fringe planet that they're trying to incorporate back in you know incorporate in into super earth and, and um they there's this giant riot and you know what goes down there right and her proving herself on her first deployment and her first engagement and then it's you know deploying the military on people engagement, for a riot. is that like conflict yes okay and then you know it's you know there's a time skip and she's you know, she gets recruited by the cadre, and then there's a time skip, and it's her first deployment Jimmy's. as the cadre, and so we're stepping it up further and further. And if I go too much further into the story... Time out. Oh, oh camera. And he hit the deck. If I go too much further in the story, it could prove for spoilers. Ooh. Because it goes to some interesting places that you don't expect. It sounds pretty good. That actually sounds like the next book series I might jump into. But there's so many Audible? other ones I want you to jump into first. Is it on Audible? I don't know. There's I... a thousand pages. That'll take me a long time, like 10 years. You'd be surprised. Honestly, I would be surprised. Because the more you start reading, even audiobook, they'll eventually get to a spot where they are reading too slow for you. They will. Really? And I, then... dis- I disagree with them. I-, I-, I would say so, too. I, In my opinion, just the way I'm at, like, 
the audio books that I like yeah, to listen got, to are very, on are very um, packed with like extra Foley sounds and and the action of of the story, not just. Well, we uh, once had a cow and named it. Well, the only Blue. reason I say it would speed up is because Jess started reading or listening to an audiobook, and she started at one time speed, normal speed. And then eventually got to the point where it was like, all right, this is reading way too slow for me for what I need. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to get up to like two or four times speed. I'm so, saying it might increase depending on the book you're reading. I'm depending disagreeing on... with him because... I am by far the fastest reader here. I, I um. I mean, I'm Toby not going to argue. I don't. What? Toby begs to differ. And Toby's a piece of shit. Toby doesn't <laughs> beg to differ anything. He um, just begs. But I listen to audiobooks at one time yeah, speed. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Too slow. Why aren't you reading faster, bro? I do read faster. Physically read when faster. When I physically read faster. Do you, I do though? physically read fast. Do you, though? I do. I mean, I don't Is know what you read at. skim reading or? No, it's not really skim reading. It depends if you actually take in the knowledge. There's a difference. Yeah. Like, skim reading is you're looking for something specific, keywords, key points. Actually reading fast and retaining the knowledge is different. Yeah. Retaining what you're reading. I just don't enjoy it because it messes with my eyes too much. That's why I don't like reading. If they made books with different colors on it to drag my attention more into it, like the pages were different colors, I'd probably be more in depth into reading. What if all the words were different colors? I that would probably actually help. That actually great freaking business idea. All right, guys. So you heard it here first. I need I need Amazon to hop on this and provide different word colors. Option. Yeah. Give it give it some colorful colorful context and the literal context and i'm just like mm, yeah mm. like because just reading black and white and drives he me will crazy. definitely read ravished by a dinosaur or ravished by a t-rex keeper would love it in green and red what i missed that i reference. missed that too you said is it christmas red and black so i said green and red they're the two opposites reading black reading and White Technically, and black. green and red aren't opposites. They're complementary, but so is white and black. Just like uh, blue and orange is complementary, but they're opposites. Is someone vibrating? You should check it. It's me. It's my mom. Oh, mommy time. That's you important. All right? Yeah, she's she's. She's on an iPhone, so she's liking my pictures that I sent her, and I'm getting text messages in response. <laughs> hey, iPhone users, stop liking my fucking pictures. No, iPhone users, you know what you can Fall. do? You Fall can up. actually... Let me... <laughs> Let me go in and like no, your... there's, there's a setting in there where you can have it transition from blue to fully green and receive more now. iPhone finally updated their iOS to do this. Like, it's really cool. I, I just hate getting liked an image. Liked an image. Oh, Android that's users can actually that's, turn that off. Of... Instead of doing iMessage, you can just do SMS. No, it's not even just that. They had that. Now they have where you can actually receive full video in good quality. Oh, really? And pictures in good quality. That was whatever iOS update that apparently so hard for hey, so many years. Send those instructions to my mother. 14.2 or whatever. It just sounds like I gotta make a trip out there. That's yeah, what this sounds yeah. like. Yeah, why haven't you gone out there? Bo! Bo! No one loves you. Bo Duke. Speaking of that, I I scared Ruth yesterday. Oh, it was <laughs> it was priceless. He didn't yell at her. Priceless. I say he yelled, but he raised his voice the same way you would verbally correct someone. <clears throat> she was standing on the table. <laughs> oh no. Standing on the table, intentionally in front of him because that's where Jess normally sits. So he I I think it was like two or three. I think it was about 30 minutes before. I was like, if you keep the doing this. The dining room table right there? No. The, no, the coffee table. The coffee table. Oh. Which, if we're not doing stuff, I don't mind if she sits on it, but she's not supposed to stand on it. Right. Like, she can sit on it because I sit on it at times. So, I can't get mad at her for doing the same thing I'm doing. But I don't yes, you can. stand on it. Because it's called a double standard, and as a parent, you're supposed to hold to that. 
I have ladders for this. If I need to reach something taller, I'll use the ladder. But she is standing, blocking Mike's vision from what we're doing. And I was like, look, if you keep this up, you know what? Screw it. Mike's going to yell at you one of these times for doing something wrong, and I have no problem him correcting you. So I think 30, 40 minutes went by. It wasn't even that long. <laughs> like, and he just raised his voice. She disappeared to the kitchen. At this point, I pull up the camera in my kitchen, and I'm just watching her, and she's, she's just throwing crying. She's throwing a tantrum. She is upset. Which, you know what? The craziest part with us is, like, she throws a tantrum. We leave her there. The other day, same day, we're out here smoking, just hanging out. She's running around. I was like, okay, let's go inside. She didn't want to come inside. Threw a fit right there at the door. Pulled her the rest of the way in, and we just left her on the floor. You're going to throw a fit? I don't care. Yeah. You're going to stay there. I'm not... I don't care about your fit. Like, it... I don't. Sorry. Not sorry. All I remember... It, all it does is remind me of my childhood whenever I'd be crying, and my dad be like, oh, oh, I'll you're gonna you cry? To I'll cry. give you a reason to cry. <laughs> and then you try to, like, suck up the tears. You'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I've diversified my shirts. And it's looking uh, shiny and matte. Mike made a comment, and it's stuck with me. Like most of the comments Mike makes towards me. Which one did I make this time? Stop wearing logos. Oh, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I don't. And I looked at all of them and was like, damn. Yeah. Like, I wear every, logos every a shirt. lot. Well, I just mentioned I mean, it. everybody can look at your shirt and tell it's a Levi shirt. It doesn't have to have no logos or nothing. That doesn't look it's like a, a Levi. It's either a Levi or a Wrangler shirt. I don't know if it is. I don't think it's either. You want to look at my collar and say, see? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, it's not. Mm, I it's win. Eli. Yeah, okay. Well, I win. Sucks, sucks, sucks to Navy. Suck. I wouldn't know. So I thought as Navy, he would be very <laughs> familiar. With fashion? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But we wear blue, bro. We wear blue. I can He's tell. Light bit. blue, dark blue. He's blue a little bit blue. Bird. <laughs> Someone's a little metro. Uh, oh, you know what? I am because my watch band is actually matching my shirt. Yeah, hold on. Let me check my watch band. <laughs> I don't got one. And look, I, I do, but it's just green. It's, the lens on my glasses is also blue. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what my own shirt was. I wear the thing. I, I even mean, brought out a blue moon. I mean, I do like blue moon. I, I was supposed to pick up oranges, but I didn't. I don't get behind uh, wheat beers and saisons. Or farm beers. I never got behind Blue Moon until I came here. And everybody was buying it. The reason being, they make me nauseous. Yeah. It's the only beer that does it to me. The, yeah, I don't it, get there's nauseous. another one that's like that that made me really sick. I mean, I'll get nauseous, but then again, I'll have like mics and then I just I mean, apparently black out. After avoid like avoid Jason's and anything that's like farmhouse beer or something like that, because they're all they've all got that cloudy quality to them. Yeah, this one does have a very cloudy mm -hmm. quality to it, and all of those make me nauseous. I feel more full. That's probably all the wheat. That's probably the. Oh no, you didn't drink it yet. The IPA right there doesn't do that. No. I buy a lot of IPAs war war. because they're more flavorful. The Elysium yeah, in a, there? Oh, I like me some oh, Elysium. Oh, man. Elysium is so good. Do you remember when we got that entire keg of Elysium? Well, so the funniest thing is, like, Angel Dust was one of their newest ones at the time. And then you just come here with, you're like, oh, I got Elysium. I was like, which one? He's like, oh, I don't know. I, just, I bought it because it, it was mid-COVID. We're still working at the same place. Oh, yeah, it, it, like, the bar down the street was, like, selling kegs off because they needed... Because everyone was closed out. Everyone was closed down. They were just trying to unload their stock before it went bad on them. Yeah, I think it was, like, it had, like, a five-day timeline on it when everybody was still coming over to the two-story house. Mm -hmm. I was like, Damn. bro, this is going to be gone in, like, four days. Two days. It was empty. Two days. Mike didn't go home, though. No, two days. Mike went home. No, I Did went you? home. He just lived there. Oh, that's for... right, because you were in an apartment still. Mm hmm Yeah. He had just, he sometimes, I think the second day he went home, grabbed the dogs, and he was over for a while. Because that was pre-Annie freaking out. Yeah. It sure was. Yeah. 
I, I still came over. I still, whenever I started uh, muzzling Cabo when I brought him yeah. over, and that made Jess a lot more comfortable. Yeah, because she still had PTSD from Jaeger and Anakin fighting. And I, I fully got that, and that's why I was very conscious of, you know, making sure that I did it did become an issue. Yeah, and that's, I don't know, I think we're very good about one of us have an issue with something, and we bring it up. Or correct it. Or correct it. issue with TikTok. Oh, uh, did you want to slide into that because we were over here having good conversation? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we were talking about relationship, but sure. Yeah, that's fine. Fine, fuck us. Let's talk no, about no, the fuck relationship us. between TikTok and its owner. Okay, well, before we go into that, I want to talk about... Uh... Wow, I get pushed off again. No, because it's still TikTok. <laughs> I want to... What subjects on the TikTok bill law is it that you want to talk about? Because as I was saying off camera, before we were really... Told, I want to I want to talk about the ban itself, um, and and why it's so, I guess supposedly important so, to, to do. So but, I mean, what I was what I was saying before we before I shut you all the fuck up because I wanted to talk about it on podcast is that you know because you were like oh man you know it's just an app and it's you know people are scared that they're getting data from us only for developers went down deep into the code and dissected the, the TikTok code. code and they were like. No, it's like pulling everything. It's pulling stuff from your clipboard. It's pulling screenshots, password. Like so, when you when you hold down the button and copy a word, and it saves your clipboard, it's pulling that information into TikTok and then sending that in. And it had live access to your camera at any time. And then still does. The worst part about it is that they were like, "Oh, well, we're not giving it to the CCCP, CCCCP, CCCCCCP." Um, Chinese only- intelligence agency. Yeah. Why are we saying it three times fast? He was giving me shit for it the other day. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a bash. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, I mean, they got caught straight up sending the data to them because they are a Chinese company and poor her, poor, poor. her poor. Chinese co- policy, any company is required to give all their data to the all government. their information, not yeah. even just data, data and information. So what what I wanted to really talk about, okay, so it, it, it has been passed to ban it in the United States at, at the level of the Senate. It's on the desk of, of our President Biden for Biden to sign it uh, into action and make it law. Um, but the most ironic thing about this is that the company that owns TikTok is called Byte Dance, but it, which is a Chinese company. But do you want to know the first place that banned TikTok? China. Mainland China. Yeah. You know what's also interesting? Most of the social media apps we have here, they have banned. Yeah. China does too. They've banned most of the apps that are right. social media. To, to the point to where it they, they don't have Facebook, Instagram, legally have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they, all that stuff. They do, they do, um, what's it called when they trawl through the data? I know the inspect. Data, data trawlers. Automatic data trawlers. I don't know. There's, there's an actual turn of phrase for it. Trawling? Um, no. Um, they information gather. And, and if they find out that a Chinese citizen who's in a different country so much as liked something like a post that was against China, they will show up at their door, like in Australia, and fucking, you know, threaten their family, all sorts of shit. And now you have to go to a re education camp. And I'm not making this up. You can look this information up and you can see that this has actually happened. That's crazy. Another fascinating thing is that they were doing, they had, as part of their streams, they, they targeted kids, and as part of their their cycle of videos for TikTok, they would be like, oh, they would have videos pop up that be like, democracy is bad, Yep, capitalism Ed- is bad, um, China is good, here is why China is good, Right. specifically targeting children. So we we have that in China, but the most interesting part, China isn't the sole proprietor of the company. No, they have fifty one percent ownership. 
and we have European countries that owned it. Part of American companies owned it. So all these different companies have ownership into it at the time of inception right. when it was made. So we have all this collection of data of everyone willingly sharing because the moment you put it on social media, you no longer own it. Right. That's the contract you sign, intentional, unintentional, signing your email, putting a password, making an account. So China's not the only one that has information on it. The craziest part of this whole thing, them having access to your camera at any time, realistically, if you've ever had TikTok on any device, they have mapped out your house and your whereabouts of what you normally do on a daily basis. That's why you delete it and then change it all up. Or, or, hear me out, never coming from it. a different place here, you never install it. But it's already been installed. Why are you installing TikTok? I installed it like two years ago. What's wrong with you? Because I didn't know about this. Shame it was and disappointment. The, before it was released, app-wise, I talked about it. I was like, oh, I'll never install this. And then we had our mutual friend across the board. And it was like, oh, well, it's just another social media app. Like all our, most, all our mutual friends at the time. It was just, TikTok's bad. It's Yeah. It's bad. No, it's fine. I, you know, it's honestly, fine. Just I install think TikTok all, all and social let them media collect all bad. your data. I mean, Facebook's allowing damn near all nudity now. Social media has a place. Has a place. We're still figuring out that place. Yes. The original intention was to Pompidou. keep in contact with people because we're moving into a more technical aspect yeah, of society. World that we need to still have that communication. That was the original intention. And it, it definitely just slipped away. Hey, but that's, that's intermission. That's intermission. intermission. Intermission! We shall be back. Why? What are you looking for now? Your phone? Hat. Should be up there. Oh, your hat. His ten gallon hat. Not even a not ten gallon. gallon. It's maybe like two and a half, three. I gallons. mean, it's not really because it's got holes in it and it leaks. Oh, baby. Hey, we're back. <laughs> we are back. What were we talking about? I'm so lost. Chinese, I don't remember what Chinese. what happened. I mean, we were talking about the paper tiger, but I feel like we beat that horse on a lot of aspects. <laughs> yeah. That's abuse. Let's beat a horse. It's oh, so dude, let's start hobo fights. Oh, ooh. <gasps> No, but wow, that would be messed up. That'd be a good game. Hey, there's a tent city down at 35 and 281. Are we talking about like actual tent city or yes, are we talking ten, about ten. a bunch of homeless people? No, these are a bunch of homeless people living in tents. What are you talking about? This happens every five years <clears throat> and they always migrate back to whatever city, whatever area. Or they all die We've in the freeze. We've never really had an issue with tent city in San Antonio. Not true. It's That's always not been true at Austin. All, bro. Not That's true. not true at all. Austin just publicized it. San Antonio Austin had a Austin had a famous like a per, a homeless person. No, they were who famous. Famous. Yeah. Uh, it was the dude who always wore a dress. Yes. Gulping he was a on gay camera. Guy. Yes. Yeah. Big gulps. Big gulps. Big gulps. Bro, I forgot. Big oh my gulps. god, it's massive. Big gulps, gay bars, and oh wait, 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 wait! I forgot something important. While we were off camera, we once again proved. That someone significant other will absolutely still come to the defense of the penis. Well, I to mean, the point, yes, yeah, they always will. With, with without in like perspective of a vagina, yes. Yeah, shallow vaginas, tiny penis. According yeah. to my vagina, was the quote. according to my vagina, he's got a big penis. <laughs> oh my it's goodness. massive. It never fails. <laughs> a, a woman will always every, defend every her. Every time. I mean, we're going to we're going to keep riding this into the ground it, and testing it. Would it would be. I I really Ginger. I hope you watch this. It'd be even better if Ginger was here and she was like, "Nope, yep," because Mike's been over my house and because she dude, brought up dude, the well, other she day. Up on the last podcast. <laughs> was it on podcast or was it all no? Podcast? It was on podcast. It was on podcast. Yeah, yeah, we brought it up on podcast because I literally did it. I said. I had brought it up at her house. I, I oh, you partner this. Yeah, I made fun of Sam's penis, and she immediately jumped on it, and then immediately recognized that she had done the thing. <laughs> yeah, but she did even, she say according to my no, vagina? She, no, no, she <laughs> said I did the thing. Yes. What was the comment that she made though? 
No, we were. But where she jumped to the defense. No, we were talking penis. about penis no, size. No, no, yeah, we we. I don't remember the neither. None of us remember the exact comment. I mean, watch the previous podcast. I really hey, want hey, to Kelt, see. Hey, Kelt, if you watch the podcast, <laughs> any of the podcasts, you've watched one podcast. I've actually watched four of the podcasts. How many do we have out now? Twenty-one. 20 we're at twenty something. something. Twenty-one. Oh no. Getting there. I'm getting what was supposed to come out this hey, week? So, yeah. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm seeing a lot of shade here. Hey, okay? I gotta drop the ball on this. I one. had to write someone to do half. I'm, I'm still waiting on the one you've had for what three weeks now? Something like that. You've got 19. I have audio problems. Okay. I've come out with I've come out with two since then, bro. Yes. Look, we both have full time jobs. My right. wife does ministry. At the time, I was studying for a cert. He's got a toddler and a puppy. I'm still renovating the house myself on some aspects. Yeah, I changed all my fans. You didn't see? I did. They He's... were kind of like this. Which is level to the ceiling. Just because it's not straight doesn't mean it's not level. Seriously, read the instructions when you install a fan. Oh, I've never done that. Hey. <laughs> hey, just because you can slide your penis in doesn't mean it ain't crooked. Exactly. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I've seen a lot that are like this, but I've seen a lot that are like this. Big gulps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that that's such a good picture of Toby. You know what I need? We yes. need we need like every time we throw a beer in there, we need like some confetti or something. Oh man, throw a bunch of confetti in there. <laughs> we just need poppers. Put put glitter in there. We could, but I'm not gonna put glitter. Put but glitter in there. We no, could have because I don't need to go home looking like I just came from a strip club. I'm totally... But you know what? The best part? We have camera footage. You weren't there. <laughs> I mean, is it time stamped and date stamped? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, in the back. In yeah. The back, it is time and date data. stamped. Yeah, it is. Um. Also, I'm someday. I'm just and going you to have Google tracking. I'm just going to bring glitter yeah. over and give it to your child. My my. <laughs> I will just be like, fuck it, you're not in my office. Jeff my my Toyota Connect mind. says that I'm here. My tracking service on my car says that it's here. Like my whatever Pearl, whatever lock system. Pearl, um, Pearl Scout. My phone says I'm here. <laughs> Come here, Pearl Scout. Yeah, we all went to Keeper's house and then we left our phones there and then all went to the strip club. No, uh, man, my wife told me earlier, she goes, again. My wife says, are you going to ever leave Keepers? And I was like, no, probably not. <laughs> I don't want to go to a strip club again. I hate waking up with the Dude, pillow. strip clubs the are way too expensive. The smell. smell. The smell on my pillow Ugh. just gets me. It's like, mm, no. Dude, you, you smell that smell for like three days dog. straight. She smells like dog. I need to bathe Bo. He has Who loves the fucking pearl? furry potato. Nah, he walks in my grass. He walked in your grass. And no Get joke. It. He had about 22 different pricker burrs on him. Where? How? All over him. Where? How? I mean, they were all dead. Give him, I give you props there. In the Did Navy. Make it? Yeah. No. The floor. No. no. <laughs> it wasn't right. a beer either. That's where my beer went to. <laughs> I know when I picked that one up. That one's too far. When dogs are going to be cracked out on Celsius. <laughs> fucking had to fucking spray that off. <laughs> fucking I was bubble. too. Because fucking I don't bubble know if that will like <laughs> I don't know. I'll Maybe. just mute his mic the entire stream. <laughs> Celsius, it gives you energy. It We're actually sponsored. It actually does help you lose weight, though. It does. There has been. Look at that shit, right? No, I'm not going off you. There. I'm going There's off. There's a lot there, bro. The actual Would studies. You like to see it? Fucking abs right there. Okay. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Suck it in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get mine. <laughs> I look like an Ethiopian child over here. Hold wow. On. <laughs> when you picked up your shirt, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're a fat it's like Ethiopian looking at the child. Pop. <laughs> I'm like, suck it all the way in, bro. Like, Don't show anyone my fat. <laughs> It's like Bill Cosby came out of the fucking grave to say one last commercial. <laughs> one last, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I do want to touch on games, though. You want to touch on Bill Cosby? No. I mean, he played different <laughs> <Me too>. games. <laughs> he played different games. Confetti. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to buy fucking poppers and just... Every time a beer's finished, <laughs> not me and Mike are just going to be fucking slamming beers at our own house. Oh, fucking so fast. Big gulps. Big gulps. I, oh, man. I wish it wasn't getting close to summer already because we never did do like a, a proper camping at my place stream. We, we never do got that a, when it's 118 degrees outside. We never got a good camp, but I do have a portable AC unit that we what? can bring when, in. Where? How? It's in, my, it's in my bedroom right now. Oh, yeah. I see it. We could totally bring that. You know, set, camping. Set and, up a yurt and set up a single yurt and just be. We've already proven that we can run an extension cord all the way down there. Yeah, we'll do and, the podcast in the yurt. <laughs> no, we'd probably start with the fire, and then be like, "All right, it's this too is hot. Way too hot. Can we? We'll leave. We'll we'll close the door. We'll just have the screen there, and we'll just we'll set on sixty four, which means we'll get about seventy three degrees. I'm doing quick Fucking math. Re- re- reposition all the cameras and everything inside the yurt. Inside the yurt. Yep. And it's just like, hey, all right, we're getting fucking scene. slammed. It would have to be a, a it's two-parter. A mul- it's a multi-scene. It would have to be a two-parter. It would have to be a two-parter. Because Y'all will we'd have be to stick so around freaking to drunk. Just that was gone. Second part. Just gone. It was just like... These two will be blitzed out of their all minds right, and I'll be sober. Who's the most sober to do this? And Kel's like... Fuck. Fuck. And he's like, pull up your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Open well, your eyes. I don't think we've had one where we all were just like gone. We're not going anywhere. Let's go. I'm okay with it. I'm even okay with because there's a there's a portable AC unit I would buy for camping. Yeah, that dude. Those things are like a thousand dollars. No, no. <clears throat> if it's the one I'm talking Probably about, like six to eight. It's like it's like a cooler with like keeps ice in it. And it like blows that ice water through. No, I'm not. Well, you can do a fan one. At that point, we could just get a fan with a cooler. Yeah, that I've got. I've got tent fans. Like that wouldn't even be. By an the way, issue. I found the fans. Yeah, they're on top of my fridge. Uh, remind me the two fans I had out there. I need to give them for the shop. Okay. The two black ones. Yeah. That push out fucking wind. How many fans do I need in my shop? All the fans. All the fans. What are you well, talking about? All the, the TVs, problem, the all the fans. The problem with that, though, is they don't mess with your audio if you're trying to video record. No, but we're not off. talking about when I'm video recording. We're talking about when I'm doing shop I mean, We stuff. could time-lapse that. It wouldn't mess with audio. I've got, was... I've got, I have, like, it, literally, if we were going to, like, record, like, the, mm. hey, this is what we're doing right now, we would just step outside the shop away from the or fans. Or do what we normally do, turn everything off. and Yeah. Mm. Or mute it, pause it, and whatever. Sweat. Of course, I'd have to get Keeper over to do shop stuff. It's hard when you have a family. No. To do it's hard when you have renovations. That renos. was supposed to be done in March. It's the renos. We've been waiting on the renos because yeah. I've been waiting. And if it ain't raining this weekend, that's why I'm doing Saturday. Um, but I've been waiting to do my chicken coop for him to get done. It was supposed to be done. It was supposed to be done already. Hey, how'd your bees come? The bees are nice. Yeah, the bees are nice. I actually don't think I've talked about those on podcast. He hasn't. Bees. So I got I got Ooh. bees. These oh. bees. What was it? Before we go into bees, because you did a little bit of bees and this will go into your story. But you brought over the the little I think it's what, a quart? Yeah. A quart of honey. And Jess was like, Oh well, where where's it, oh Mike? It was three Already? pounds of honey. Yeah. Already? Mike gave it no, no not on. from his. Oh. Not from mine. But gave me this and make me I start because we have tea every night. Mm-hmm. Other than Friday, she probably had tea today without me. But we have tea every night because we go to a local tea guy that makes chemistry tea bullshit, whatever. Really cool tea, good taste. But you brought the honey, and she's like, "Oh, did you put the new honey in it?" And I was like, "No, we still have the old honey. Why would I open the new honey?" She was like, well, "When are you gonna open? Is this Mike's honey?" And I was like, "No." And then, no joke, the next fucking day, Mike <laughs> comes over. She was like, "Oh, Mike, is this your honey?" <laughs> like Mike's like I'm still like a couple years out from that because bees are very much your first round it of honey really is trash up. honey. Yeah. Why? Because it, that, it's new to them. Well, that first year you're feeding them sugar water to get them established because they take so long to establish. By the way, when I picked up my bees and thank you to the gentleman down I forgot your name because I can't remember names, but do you want me to go grab the is it that guy? No. Oh. 
that that was someone different. Okay. But <clears throat> I got them from the B place, um, south of San Antonio, Floresville. No, um, and uh, <laughs> and Beaver. this this man like just I I. So I had I had thought he was in Bernie for some reason. I don't know why I thought he was in Bernie. I didn't have the address before this, Bernie, right? But I get sent the address and I don't check it until the day of, like hour and a half away. No, like thirty minutes before I'm supposed to leave, I don't oh, check shoot. the address. And it takes like two hours to get. And it light. was an hour and ten to get down there. So I called their office and I was like, "Hey." I fucked oh, up. This is like three rivers. Just shut the fuck up already and let me tell the fucking <laughs> story. Trying, God trying, damn. To, I will think. punch you in the face so you're, hard. You're worse than my wife. When fuck. I'm trying to explain the story, just let him talk. Damn. <laughs> yes, sir. Awesome. About the, and fuck. The and go to attention. Salute me. Uh, yes, the math, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. So, 30 minutes before, you called so the office. I, I called the office and I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to run late. You know, th- this is, I'm probably going to, I said, and I said it was going to take me longer than it was actually going to take me because in, in case, case there was of traffic, traffic or yep. something like that. And she was like, well, let me call the owner. And she calls the owner and she calls me back and she says, and this is in a joking manner, obviously, but she says, he says, he'll be here, but you got to bring a six pack, right? And it's like, okay. You're like, okay, fuck it. I'm bringing a six pack. I fucking stopped at a gas station, fucking picked up a six pack. And you probably didn't pick up like no shitty six pack. You probably bought something decent. Well, that's not necessarily the case because we're in Texas. Well, so he got I Lone Star up- Shiner. Shiner. Okay, the- I still classify that as decent. <laughs> not Now, if you picked up, what's the other local one? Um, Lone Star? Lone, Lone Star, Star, which isn't Pearl. actually linked. Local, it's exactly. actually brewed in what Wisconsin. Yep. Anyways, so I get there. He gives me the bees. I strap him down in the back of my truck. He's like, "Hey, you know, do this, do that, another, right?" Because they're already in the hive, right? So yeah. I don't have to do anything but unplug the hole to the front of the hive. When did you give him the six pack? So like after he gave me the six pack and he had told me that, I walked around to the side of my passenger side i opened the door and i was like so i heard the idea to bring you a six pack and he's like i was just joking about that and he was so cracked up and he's like i appreciate ha-? he's like you want to have a beer with me i was like fuck yeah because yeah. i got an hour and 10 minute drive home well you <laughs> you talk about a man that was passionate about, about his yeah about be about, about his business what, his business his occupation he would at that point you're passionate about it and right I, you went, yes, it was a joking matter. Oh, we'll tell him to bring a six pack. Right. In a sarcastic manner. But someone, you do it. And then at this point, you're like, well, I was joking. But you do it still. But he's still passionate. And yeah. there, was, there was even, there was a guy and his uh, daughter there. And they were getting into doing bees. And, you know, he was like, I've just been sitting here absorbing knowledge, brother. <laughs> and I was and like. That's the best part. I, he he was a good old boy, and his daughter was a sweetheart, and and they were they were just listening, and just absorbing knowledge. And we're sitting there chatting. This man, he ships bees out to California for almond season. Oh wow! wow. Yes, because they don't have enough bees out there. Nope. And so I think they've pushed them what out. What happened? I so think it was die? No, no, they pushed them out. No, he ships them out in a semi. He uh-huh. fills a semi up full of bee beehives. Yeah. They set the bees up and then they ship them back at the end of like almond pollinating season. <sighs> and time, because it's different seasons for almond season as opposed to watermelon season out here. So if they get back in time for him to send them up for watermelon season out here. But to push your question, California has pushed out a lot of their bee population with forest fires, with Ooh, cities. Yeah, yeah, pesticides. Yeah, yeah. And pesticides. Pesticides is a big thing. It. Like you have. Your three major ones right now, they've had forest fires nonstop. They've had drought right. nonstop, so less flowers. Well, they've had flooding recently. Like Which, thankfully, flooding. they had flooding, but By the pesticides way, were the biggest. It cracks me up that the bi- biggest, like, you know, state for, like, ecology and all that jazz is a state that can't keep bees alive because they kill them all for pesticides. Yep. Motherfucker, really? Hold on, let's ship a Texas. Yeah, we got Napa <laughs> Valley that pushes out some of the best wine. No bees there. No bees. Unless they're 
import it. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. Most of the wine that's sour is because there's less bees. Mm. So they have, for example, 2017, good yeah. year. 2018, bad year. 2019, right. bad year. 2020, good year. Why? Because we went back to bringing pollination back. Pollination you, matters. Is that, are you talking about here or in Cali? Cali? Napa Valley. Napa Valley, okay. Specifically. Napa Valley wines have always been like... Well, it's a hit or miss. Eh. But it, it depends on what happened around. Like True. bees actually matter more than just honey. By more way, than just pollination. Speaking of bees, you know that bees are not native to the Americas. Correct. I did not know that. They are native to Africa. No. Uh, they they're native to Europe, Africa, and Asia. Right. They all Mostly have different Asia, kinds though. of bees. No. Europe the, had their own breed of bees before. The honey bee. Where does yes, it I'm talking about from? They had a strain of honey bees in Europe, and they had a strain of honey bees in Asia, and they had a strain of honey bees in Africa. This goes into what we were talking about last podcast of cats meow differently in different countries. Like, it it seriously makes sense, though, why cats would respond differently to the native language. So bees, in theory, everything started somewhere. Mm. Everything started at one place. Somewhere. A different locate One place, each location, different origin. But if bees started in Europe or Africa or Middle East or Asia, they still have to go somewhere. Same way a, a tree drops all its seeds and slowly makes a forest yeah and, and so i've got bees now right? right so that that's cool and he actually came out with I me like because i was i was refilling their 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 feeder but i didn't realize because i had a friend of mine she came out thanks Allie. i appreciate the help really knowledgeable but from what you oh, told me super knowledgeable she's awesome and she fucking took bee books and I she love marked knowledge. them so and, you were you were speaking all this and stuff I, and i'm just like Mm -hmm. And I've been like, like reading through them. It, oh, it's awesome! It was so bad to the point that we're halfway walking out there, and he was like, "You haven't said anything." It's like, "Nope, I'm listening. I'm, I'm learning." Like, and I love gaining knowledge. I, I like did, to be a fly on the wall in those. By the way, I'm gonna invite you out for my next hive inspection. I okay. know that it's a bit of a haul for you to get out there, but it's not gonna take long to do the I'll inspection. I want, I want to learn. Even yeah. if I'm quiet the whole time, I just want to learn. I want to know what's going on because. Knowledge is, if you're not learning, you're dying. But I didn't know. When you inspect a hive, you essentially take the entire hive apart. Right. Every single one of those slates, yeah, you pull, pull them out. out and you eyeball the whole thing. And you take all the boxes and you eyeball the entire thing. And if you do it right, the bees aren't, aren't so pissed off. <laughs> We're halfway through this. Do it sunset. And I'm... It's I don't even think it's that, but we're 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 out there putting the sugar water and all this, and he's because like, I'm establishing a new hive. They don't know all the shit, and I was like, "Come on, bee, move!" And Mike's over here, just like, "You're you're gonna end up killing a bee," and I was like, "But no!" <laughs> like, so I, I literally stood there for like I don't know five ten seconds, and yeah. the bee finally moved, and I put it down. I didn't hear the, <clears throat> and I was like, "Okay, good. I didn't kill a bee." Yeah. Dude, we were camping one time, and I killed a bee, and I got so much. Yeah, that was the day he poked his eye out and yes, drove halfway was. blind home. Yeah, I drove with one eye oh all the way gosh. home. Oh, my gosh. People, was... I understand people's concern for bees. I, I totally But if we have a massive it. population, but also if, if you're allergic, there is also a concern there. Yeah, so you, it's a valid what, concern. What was being told to me was that bee's life was more valuable than mine. I mean, that is what pretty much was stated at that point. Yeah, I was there, and I was like, "Really, for sure?" I okay. mean, that, that's valid. I, I mean, I rate that bee sure. higher than you. Hey, I, I gotta <laughs> ask you a question. Though. This guy, south of town. Now that we're not talking about it anymore, he's south of town. Was he in Beeville? No. Bad joke. I hate it. It's a real. It's a real town. It is a real town. No, it wasn't. And I'm people. sure they don't have any bees. But... No, no, they, I'm sure no, they, they have probably bees. do have bees. You it's, know what? It's I, less arid down there. I did bring arid. Like it's dry and yes, yeah. that's what arid means. That's what arid means. <laughs> I did like actually my bring... area is more arid than south of San Antonio. 
Really? Yes. Yes. What are you talking? Bandera was. That's why I have all these junipers out here. What do you? Okay, well, hold up. What do you mean by arid? Dry. 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 Okay. Oh, because of, okay, lack of humidity. Got yes. Okay. You're talking about wild west towns that made cities. Got it. Okay. Like got we it, actually it. had so Johnny D's bees. We had yeah, his yeah. meat on here before. That was amazing. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. He's another one that teaches people about bee stuff. Like, really, really cool guy. Really down to earth. His mead was amazing. It lasted, what, five, ten minutes? Yeah, not even that long. I want some more of that shit, bro. Like, we just downed it. Keeper didn't like that beer too much. No, I'm sipping. What are you talking about? (sighs) Hey, so, you know. Gay bars? We've got only a couple minutes left so let's finish off with our king for an issue king <gasps> for an issue you real have quick, an issue I it do sounds have like a, i do have a real quick question you guys mentioned that in a previous podcast that i haven't watched yet that cows meow differently in different countries cats cats, cats. Cows. why would cows meow oh, because they're in different countries but anyway back to the topic of cats meowing differently in different countries since we're talking about china today do we know what cows i mean cats Sound like in China. No. no. Anyways, okay. King for an issue. King for an issue. Obviously, you didn't have an issue. I was excited, but go. Did you have one? A potential issue, but I want to hear what you have. I don't have one. You don't have one. I don't have one. Okay, so I want to call. I want to talk I about. Can, I could get one in a heartbeat like that. I. How do we fix our mission issues in America? Mission issues. Emissions. Emissions. Oh, I'm em- not saying get rid of them. I'm not saying get rid of them. We mission. Talk about offline. How do we fix our emissions issue? Especially with government overreach in it. Emissions Because you drive a diesel. I drive electric. So I'm taxed so, on that. You yeah, are taxed I, I, on diesel. And, and I've got death fluid and all that yep. jazz. How about this? All right. How about we accept the fact that it is not the individual that is the biggest issue. It is the corporations that are yes. the biggest issues. How many coal plants do we still have in the United States? Why is the United States not fully 100% everything on either nuclear power, tidal power, or or um, what's the, the geyser power? Geothermal power. Geothermal, yeah. Yes. Why are we not covered on this? And I'm not saying windmill power. Do you know why I'm not saying windmills? Because it doesn't produce enough. Be- because... It doesn't produce enough, and, also and it doesn't is transport. actually more destructive, yep. and is at, we cannot utilize those things as we replace them for maintenance issues. Do because you... we've just got fucking yards of these things stacked up in the desert yep. somewhere well, that we don't know what to do with these fucking shits. So you want just to push like King Tesla for batteries. an issue emissions? Yes. Across the board. I, right. and, and, and I'm stating explicitly that it is not on the individual. Hold the corporation. All right, we'll pause and we'll continue in the next segment so we can have a full-on discussion on this. I'm very passionate about it, but do you know that the, the carbon footprint, the individual's carbon footprint... Ouch. Was a corporate push? Was a corporate... Yeah, no, I pushed it. Okay. Was a corporate push. I know. Um, And it was propaganda from corporations in order to push off the responsibilities on you and me instead of corporations as a whole? And this, yes, I actually do because this started around 1970s, the first time we had the electric car. The first time we had that the electric car. That is not the first time we had the electric car. Thank you very much. The you're right. It's not the first time with the electric car. First time electric car was mass produced for society to buy, and it went about 90 miles, and that was it. Yeah. Because it was Northeast that really, really pushed it. Northeast, Northeast Coast, and they pushed it, and the cars stole, and I use that word properly, stole from the previous electric cars, and that's all it was. It was a very small economy car yeah that's what it was to help emissions at the time because we didn't have gas we didn't have oil we didn't have this not that we didn't have it we just weren't making it available hey can can i ask you a question in relation to electric cars Mm -hmm. because you're an electric car driver how much of your power is derived by fossil fuels oh fucking all of it yeah (sighs) we have 
My mm. car is not energy efficient by any way. We have one nuclear power station in Texas. One. We get, I think it's at my house, we get, I think it's 0.02% of that. Because our energy bill breaks down where we get our energy. We get 002 But I only spend $30 a month on my charge every month. So in comparison to me, that's worth it. Kelp. What? Emissions. Fix emissions. emissions. Fix emissions. Issue. Burn every car in the world and start riding bicycles again. And walk places. But that would only fix the consumer. That wouldn't fix the... Yeah, it, would, it would because then the plants would stop producing vehicles because nobody okay no well demand for let's, the vehicles okay so your subject let's take vehicles completely out of it. all vehicles are gone from earth period dot the end i i how do you fix plastics being made hey real quick there are 94 commercial reactors with a net capacity of 94.7 gigawatts in the united states that is not nearly enough nuclear reactors, and the number of those nuclear reactors who ha have outdated technology is very significant. All those reactors aren't enough to just support Texas. Yeah. Just Texas. But as you were saying... We're Even going if, to if we take cars out of the equation completely, emissions are still being produced by factories, still being Absolutely. produced by plastics, by phones, by... Anything that you have, including any, glass... Anything that produce, that you need power to produce causes emissions because of the technology that we're using to produce that power. Emissions is more than just cars. Everyone thinks emissions Absolutely. is cars. We stop using hairspray. We, we mostly stop have. Using, stop using aerosols because those are actually more harmful to the ozone layer than most but vehicle emissions. They're no harmful than any other technological plant making anything Right, and wise. then what happens to motherboard chips out of computers when they're done? They get buried in the earth. Tesla batteries the time getting get... buried in the earth. They okay. don't bury them. Okay, but... but we're not talking about general pollution. We're specifically talking about emissions. How do you fix emissions? King for an issue. You have all the power in the world to see this issue from A to Z. How do you fix emissions? Your step one is take out all cars out of the equation. Honestly, it has to go back to like, Times of King David. So you want us really, to go back to, to a the Stone, Stone Age? Age? No, biblical with times. With everything that goes along with that? You're, you're talking more Stone Age where we don't have technology, right? No, You I want mean, us you to go, remove you, technology? You can go back to biblical times. There's no... Yeah, I, I, absolutely. So do you want to go back to a time when there was no penicillin? How do you fix medicine? Do you want to go case? back to a I time mean, when your, your, your child would die of gout? I mean, this is why I love King for an issue. King for an issue is I mean, your specific okay, opinion so on how you would you fix can't, this. You can't, you can't fix this. But that's why... In, in, the, in the aspect of there's a perfect but, fix. But there is no perfect fix, but there is a way to better the situation without negatively impacting the pop population. But the emissions that we... Okay, it's hard. I'll it's tell a you hard what, issue. I'll tell you what will fix it. Abortion. <laughs> Well, what? this isn't meth, bro. Less, less kids, less footprint. So what he's saying is that we need to nuke the world, Population wipe humanity control. out, yes. to fix emissions. And then it, it, it fixes emissions. Hey, hey, you know what? The Bible does say the world will end by circles of fire. <laughs> Keeper. Wow. How do we fix emissions? Okay. Realistic. So you brought up yours. You brought up yours. And again, this is just our own opinion on you yeah. brought this up see i'm sure you've got an answer i do have um my first step would stop giving credits to organizations to companies like yeah. who? pay oh credit like, like monetary pollution credits. credits pollution credits emission Why? credits they give it to them because they pay so much money for this credit. oh like like credit says you have these many credits to use in they can pollute so much because like the they pay of so much money. That can go into coffee. It was like, you, you, no. You have yeah. a, a certain like, amount of tolerance. We need a blanket. No. You're this. <sighs> I don't care if you're... You have zigabillion dollars. Don't gotcha. care. You have okay. this. Consumer has this. We are doing this. This is the blanket statement. This right. is the letter of the law. Do that. 
and just have if we seriously have a blanket statement across the board, I do believe emissions would go down only because people don't want to pay money for all these emissions. Think about it. If your average consumer has to pay the same thing as what your billionaire consumer wants to spend. Yeah, but you, okay, let's go back to the, the motorcycle tax versus, you know, his, his vehicle tax. I still agreed on that. We're having to if pay the gonna, same tax that he's having to pay. Why are we having to pay the same tax you, he has to pay I when still he's agree across the board emissions? If you are paying across the board neutral, everyone's equal. I would actually argue with you on me producing more emissions. Do you know why? Diesel pushes less. Not just that. I but would the actually. the creation of it. No. Diesel fuel is a runoff from the creation of, of gasoline. gasoline. Yeah, it's, it's more it's gasoline. The, it's the byproduct. Is a more refined version of diesel. If we wanted to have less emissions, we would just have everything be diesel. Everything should it should be more natural. My my question is then why is diesel why does it burn black the way it does? Because that's actually the way it's supposed to go because well, the trees no. will suck up a lot of it. But that's I disagree is, with you. Let I'm me continue with because you. I'm selling my king for an issue. <laughs> the reason we have this is because government has got in and changed all these different metrics, specifically of diesel, to push out more crap. So you see people diesel roll. Right. Smoke roll, cage roll, whatever. But I do think we should have a blanket statement across the board of emissions. And if we do that, realistically, it should and will change because throughout history, we've seen if we have a blanket this, things change because everyone's treated equal to a point. We should get rid of electric cars because they're horrible for the fucking environment. Absolutely. I have one just because it's convenient for me. That, that's right. it. Not because it's better for the environment. It's, it's convenient for yeah. me. We should get rid of a lot of rechargeable batteries. We should get to a point where we don't have all this disgust, this extract being put back into the environment at a point. Well, well, I would disagree with you on necessarily the rechargeable batteries. I think that, and this is something I think I brought yeah, up on the podcast before. by solar. No. I think that we need to get our next level of battery technology. It's Correct. the giant hurdle for us. It's where we're However, currently at. I want to touch on something that you talked about earlier is it's like the diesel. Diesel. If a modern diesel engine is tuned correctly, yep. it should not be rolling coal. If a diesel engine is rolling coal, it's because it's badly tuned. That's are, all this means. Why are we That's putting all rolling coal is? Is a badly tuned diesel engine. And it is tuned specifically to roll coal. And why are out of the factory we were putting all these things to make it quote unquote better for not even emissions? They say it's emissions, but it's better for breathing. Realistically, it's not. Well, hey, guess what? We are the greenest the world has been. Yes. In but that a was very because long of COVID. Time. No, that's not because it's of COVID. It's not because of COVID. COVID actually increased. Uh, yes covid increased because the workers that still need to work still work and they pushed harder so they could still make a profit so i want to i want to bring something up since you brought this topic up if you are a resident of texas as of january 1st 2025 you no longer have to get a state all right we we, inspection. we will touch on this next podcast we're running out of time we are running out of time this is a ne po next podcast. Coach. Next podcast. And we've touched on this, but we'll touch so on it next definitely podcast. Definitely tune in on the next one. At Mike's house. Yeah. So this has been name pending. This has been name pending. I'm still keeper. I'm Mike Colberson. And I need you to fuck that like button. Throw a comment down below. I will respond eventually. And what's your I, name? Keeper. I need you and to I'm Kelt. I need one of those. You to Subscribe. subscribe. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and take us. a big giant gulp. <laughs> take a big gulp. <laughs>